Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a preview for Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099, number one. This is a new book from Marvel Comics. Let's take a look at the creative team before we get into this book. This book is written by Steve Orlando with art by Devmaya Pranamik. Uh, apologies if I mispronounced that. Uh, colors by Raul Angulo, letters by Corey Petit, and a really cool cover by Nick Bradshaw. Uh, I knew the art looked very familiar. I just wasn't sure if it was Bradshaw until I got into until I dove deep into this. Uh, so I'm very excited. Uh, I like Steve Orlando. I like the creative team. Uh, as far as I am not very familiar with the artist, uh, but other than that, I do like the what the creative team has been working on in the previous uh, in the previous months. Uh, and I'm also a big fan of Miguel O'Hara. He's my favorite Spider-Man. Uh, so let's see what's going on in this one. In this issue, beware, Marvel Zombie 2099, Miguel O'Hara teams up with Blade 2099 to take on a new horrific threat to Nueva York. Introducing Marvel Zombie of 2099, he lives, he strikes, and no spider can hold him. Will Spider-Man be able to stop this ever-evolving zombie infection before it takes hold of his mother and the citizens of the barrio? Uh, so I actually haven't read many... 2099 titles that take place in the future a lot of what i've read from miguel has actually been him coming to the past or the present i guess you call it uh so i'm very interested in this uh, steve orlando's been doing a few things with the 2099 universe as well uh, and i think introducing the marvel zombie horde to this uh to this timeline uh can be a lot of fun i think steve orlando has a a good style when it comes to some of these more horror things theme or horror like you know with a little bit of horror intertwined into the books uh but of course with the super heroics uh, steve orlando coming off of a great run on scarlet witch uh which i really enjoyed so i'm very much looking forward to this so let's take a look at some of the preview art so we can get introduced to uh to the artist uh and i can see th their work looks great so like from what i see in the preview pages uh i love the darker tone uh, of uh, a lot of these panels, including Miguel O'Hara's outfit. Like normally, you get to see a little bit of a brighter blue, but just because of the tone of this book, I assume we're going to see a lot more uh, of a dark tone here. Of course, the introduction of this Marvel Zombie 2099. So that'll be really fun to follow around. And of course, working with Blade 2099 should be fun. I think that's a new character that's been introduced very recently as well. Uh, so that'll be fun to follow around as well. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one. There's a lot of number ones coming out this week for Marvel, so there's plenty of me to dive into. Uh, so stay tuned. We'll talk about more of this stuff in uh, either follow videos or maybe on our next live stream. Uh, so check that out, but let us know what you thought of these. If you have read them, as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live, that is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.